Hey friends, hope you're doing well. My thoughts go out to the Pineal Foundation. Meantime, I've just come across something that I think is very interesting from an esoteric electromagnetic uh, universe model. Um, most of us have looked at the tree of life and we see the similarities there between the electromagnetic torus and a tree and ourselves. Um, and typically I've contemplated that the earth would be this, that it would have a center core north, south, all the way around, maybe some exit routes, um, but this would be magnetic compass north and Africa and America and on all of that sort of thing around it. That's what I've thought and but I've been stymied by this idea that actually the the tree of life may be lying on its side like a bar magnet with a spray in the top and in the roots from this beautiful wonderful smelling pine or some some such thing it's really nice I'm getting to chop it up and I'm getting time to think about how um, how this might work you know and is this is this possible that it's that it's a cut through tabletop like that or it's a it's a fallen down tree within which we exist here and that when we lay on our backs and look up into the sky what we see is the rotation of the energy around us um, with with you know with the the up being or the outside being you know this way in this direction that's what I've considered and you know that we're lying on our backs and uh, looking up at the night sky rolling over us within a Taurus system uh, kind of makes sense trees kind of grow in these whirls and then I was struck by something else I realized that if you had a tree lying on its side like that then a possible place that one could exist would be here on this now imagine again that this is the north center and this is the south ring of this felled cut giant giant that we call the earth it's excavated out it's got bumps and lumps um, so this is a this is an interesting theory that it's actually a secondary lump and this could be our um, known world or it could be that the the five big continents are similar each of them slightly different and that this is C or this is the blackness of outer space and we can't get out here outside of this space on the tree electromagnetic of course but you know nature replicates everything and you know we got little creatures inside of us that we would not recognize but they all have jobs to do they all have work to do so look at this as though this up close i've seen mountain strata that look like this and the uh, geologists will tell you that's billions of years of sediment layers and in fact it's just years of tree growth and here would be a miniature example of where we would land be and then of course we see strata ben beneath us and we sometimes we dig um, shafts into the earth that look very much like this for coal uh, other ores and when you look around um, the other stumps that are growing out of the tree like this one here this one here all around it is like um, uh, the sap and other materials that when they when they crystallize will at the mega size obviously would be seams and deposits that we would go and mine and our minds might even look you know sort of like that where they've just worked through the either the root or the original branch that's connected to the the origin of the tree uh, when they talk about life going back to you know a certain time well this this unbelievably this stick even though it might be dead on the outside remains and is the strongest part 
of this wood actually. When splitting this wood, when you're dealing with a knot, it is almost impossible to break through it. Um, it's just the way that the energy is weaved around it and the hardening process that's gone on in here makes it extremely, um, extremely durable and, and I, I reckon the strongest part of the tree. Um, and this is an interesting one here. So this is, this is again a top that we could be on um, with the tree laying on its side and all our strata and rock formations relative to that and the Kimberley mine comes to mind if you've ever looked at the diamond mine called Kimberley it was they, they dug basically a core uh, a, a you know like a one of those um, underground uh, tunneling bought tunneling things with like a you imagine it with a sharp pointing nose and a core that runs down that's they this massive hole in the ground uh, and it's shaped like that and so is this shaped like that um, this is obviously a cut through of the tree, but if I turn it over to the inside of the tree, uh, what do you see there? But this sort of top side of a, a boring machine, and it's followed all the, the strata. It looks like it's it's sort of twisted in here, turning in here like a torus, and everything, all the energy lines flow around it, wrap around it throughout its life, and it'll stay for 200 years inside the body of the tree. But, but there it is and it creates this folding which is what we see uh, with our, our rock formations is folding it would obviously be in the horizontal position but this is this is possibly if you magnify this up to our whole earth this is possibly the core of the earth and it runs almost to the center of the the great tree and we we play and we create on this tiny little plateau here which we call earth um, is it possible to tunnel through this earth to other parts of the system you've got to put that in your mind right the possibility of that that if we can't get through the skin there are softer ways through the wood and going down and perhaps even where they did the cola deep the deepest mine perhaps they knew that that was like a that's the point at which everything then changes. Can they get out of this? Is this what we see as dark matter in the vacuum of space? In the processes that are occurring here inside, in the core of this, you know, the, the rising of heat and energy that is being whirled around by, as you can see, by this system here. We may see the tree as dead, but this tree is very much alive. Uh, the energy is still very much Mm, uh, moving uh, it will uh, change in uh, frequency slow down and eventually decay as all things do um, on their way to releasing back in and up into the system so what closes such a system off um, it is a speculation to say that you know the heating and the gaseous um, exchange create the bubble just like we can see it uh, on the bottom of a kettle it can create a bubble um, and in the right situation everything stays in stasis and this stump um, thrives but there will probably be other stumps on the tree don't you think and maybe the array of them can be you know um, on a different perpendicular because it's around it's around a trunk of a tree of course we can't know for sure but these are really compelling um, little bits of evidence. I, I put this one here because you can see the, the point, the nose coming out there. That's the cone coming out there and it runs all the way through. I've, I, as, I was, as I was cutting this, the wood was kind of slipping down the, the shaft of that. Um, but that is basically, you know, like a, 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 a borer and it's bored, it's bored all the way through to the end of that. And that, I would suggest, is what we live on, on that tiny little bit on top there. Give it a scale of um, proportion. Of course, the mainstream scientists would say that's four and a half billion layer, years of layers and stuff. Unfortunately, they've been sold on a particular model. But here, here is where the Earth is. Simple, folks. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, okay? Peace and love.